Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. And this one is for everybody. If you're a motherfucking human at Earth, something in here is for you. And I'm starting off with the pot tarot deck. I think I'm going to always start off with this one now. This is my new favorite deck. But so far we have the temperance in reverse, the world card in reverse. We have the two, or I'm sorry, the world card is regular. The two of cups in reverse, the seven of cups, and the high priestess in reverse. I will clarify these with the African American tarot deck. And then I'll talk about what they mean. Temperance in reverse is clarified by the seven of cups in reverse. So the first thing I'm getting is that you recently got some new information on some type of topic that's yet to be determined. Whatever information you got though, like the way that you got it makes you feel like you have to pretend that you don't have this information. You feel like this is something that you have to sit on, not something that you can act on right away. The world card and the four of cups in reverse. I'm feeling like this has to do with a friendship, especially with these two different hands holding the nug. But the world card is about cycles ending. And then if you look like it has in the four corners, all these different things. So it's like, so this has to do with somebody that you did a lot of stuff with. But for some time... They've been making you just feel not that great. And so you're ready for this to end. Okay, so putting those two together, what I'm getting is that you already had a feeling that this person didn't need to be in your life, but you didn't have any type of like tangible proof or any hardcore evidence that this person wasn't for you. It was literally just a feeling, your intuition going off. And then you got some actual information that let you know like, oh, this is why I've been feeling weird around this person. But again, the way that you got the information, you feel like you can't just come up and say like, hey bitch, this isn't working because you're weird. Like, you feel like you need to kind of either play a long game or just kind of fade out of this person's life. Two of Cups in reverse clarified by the queen of cups in reverse likely it's because this person is just very emotionally unstable because nothing's wrong with being emotional right typically when we say that with a negative connotation is somebody doesn't know how to regulate their emotions so their negative emotions tend to get away with them and this is definitely somebody that's like that so ideally you would just come and tell them like hey i peeped this and i peeped that and i don't really like that shit but you just know like that they're probably going to overreact or get dramatic or for some of you this person may even get violent so you just feel like you can't confront them so i already know what your title's going to be yeah play that shit smart Because for the most part, somebody just essentially throwing a fit is what it is. Like just being upset with you, yelling, cursing, whatever the fuck they might do. It's not really that big a deal. Because if this isn't somebody that you live with, you can just go home. You can block them from your phone. You can block them on social media and literally just never talk to them again. Like you quite literally don't have to take that shit. But this is somebody that you've been connected to for quite a while and you have lots of mutuals. So you just know that it'll bring unnecessary drama if you were to just confront them directly. It's nothing that you can't handle, but it's more so just some shit you don't really have time for because you have other things going on in your life right now is what I'm getting. So Seven of Cups clarified by the Five of Swords in reverse. This is showing like the inevitable end, but again, it's just like reiterating the fact that you feel like there's a time and a place for everything and this just isn't the time and place to confront them but you do know that this is something that you're gonna have to deal with eventually so then this last these last two tarot cards are more so talking about like how to handle it high priestess in reverse and the page of cups in reverse once you get to the point where it's too difficult for you to be nice and cordial with them you need to just go ahead and have the conversation there's never going to be a great time, 
but you can make it a good time by just getting it out of the way like that honestly because the longer this lingers and the more you feel like you have to like be paranoid and stuff like that it's going to start affecting other areas of your life that just don't need to be affected by this especially not in this way Well, let's get your word of the week. I thought I was going to do all my videos for the week and it's already getting dark. I ain't going to have enough sunlight. I'm just going to do this one. <laughs> but your word of the week is growth. So this is growth in the sense that this is a test to see how you handle issues. Are you able to... Handle this the right way isn't like a good way to put it necessarily because there's not a right or wrong. There's a better, best, and bad. But there's not necessarily a right or wrong. So this growth is just like for you to have the end goal that you want, are you able to go about things in a way that's most likely to get you that goal? If what you want is peace, you don't want to speak to them in a way that guarantees chaos. You can't control anybody else and you can't always predict how they're going to react. But probability is important in this instance. So this is, again, a test to see if you're able to respond in a better way than you have before. But let's get some words from your ancestors and then we'll get out of here. What do your ancestors have to say to you? Okay, well, several came out, more than I was expecting. You have the ever-unfolding rose, play, pillar of light, Imrama, and the crumbling. So this Imrama and the crumbling go together very well because it's asking you what are you clinging to and why, and then where are you going? So we tend to want to hold on to things even when they're uncomfortable because at least we know what to expect, and there's a measure of comfort and being able to predict what's going to happen next but this is saying it's time for you to face your fears and do something different so that you can get something different something different that's better this pillar of light in the ever unfolding rose is reminding you that you're a good person and you deserve good things so good things will happen to you there's no need to be too worried about the unknown in this instance. Now, everything happening for you, for your benefit, all that jazz, it doesn't mean that everything's going to be comfortable. But just remember, through the discomfort, you're still getting what you need to live your best life. And then you have play. Just a reminder not to take anything too serious. Like, things are that deep. But they're not necessarily that serious. You can still be lighthearted and play through the shit that's pissing you off. But that's what I have for you guys. If anything resonated, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, all that jazz. And if you would like a personal reading on this or literally anything else, you can book that through the link in my description box. All right, y'all. Peace.